Well, welcome everyone to this edition of Looking to Louisville. I'm Zach. And I'm Krista. And we are standing outside of Louisville Slugger Field, right down in downtown Louisville, on the riverfront, which is home to Louisville Bats Baseball. And it's also home to Louisville City FC soccer team and a great restaurant against the Grain Brewery. Let's go check out the action, Zach. Let's do it. Hanging out at Louisville Slugger Field, I'm here with Greg Galliette, who is the Senior Vice President of the Louisville Bats baseball team. And tell us why this is the premier place to come for locals, visitors. I tell you what, uh, being a native Louisvillian, I am so proud to every day show this ballpark off. These guys don't have many days off during that time period, but uh, we, uh, we take a lot of pride in the fact that we feel like this is a great point for the fans and, and all the citizens, not only in Louisville, but really from the region to come to and enjoy two to three hours of the national pastime. with Louisville City Football Club's head coach, James O'Connor. James, tell us a little bit about uh, the team and why fans should come out and see you guys. I think the relationship between the supporters and the players especially, I think it's been fantastic. Yeah, obviously, I mean, a uh, baseball sort of field that becomes a soccer field, it, it takes a lot of work. For us, the big attraction is the downtown location. Mm -hmm. I think for, to be able to, to have a stadium downtown and have such a lovely stadium, I think, is, is fantastic for us. The games that we've had at home, the attendances have been incredible. I mean, for people who love soccer or people who are just even novices, it's a great atmosphere, it's a lot of fun. Uh, it gives us something to have a lot of community pride in, um, and the, the atmosphere here with the crowd's awesome. So whether you're going to a Louisville City FC soccer game or a Louisville Bats baseball game, Against the Grain Brewery is the best place to kick off or cap off your visit. It really is, and along with the brewery aspect, it's a smokehouse. And there are tons of great brisket, chicken, sausage, uh, entrees on the menu. Um, but let's jump back and talk about the brewery Beer. because it is so unique. Um, they have different logos, different names for all the beers. They keep the same styles uh, throughout, but I'll tell you what, you come in here on any given day and you're going to have a new experience uh, with, the, with the beer selection. Mm -hmm. The food was just fantastic. We had so many appetizers. I think my favorite was the pimento cheese and hoe cakes. Those it were was. so good. But I want to tell you about the other ones we had. We had the smokehouse wings, which were the smoke and grilled jumbo wings. Blue cheese crumbles, buttermilk ranch, and the pickled celery. Oh, the beer pretzel was another favorite. That was great with the beer cheese, pork nachos with the pulled pork, kettle chips, jalapenos, pickled onions, feta, and the house barbecue. Then we had some great entrees, spare ribs, the ham sandwich. My favorite. Yes, yes, <laughs> I saw that. The sausage links, but I think, Zach, my favorite, because I love sweets, was the donut. Oh, Let's talk about the donut. The donut. And what makes a donut better? Bacon. bacon. And it's from High Five Donuts here, right. local local shop. Um, we had the bacon glazed donut and some donut holes. Perfect way to cap off a great meal. It really was. You know, so in the end, Louisville Slugger Field is a great venue to watch. Baseball, soccer, concerts, whatever it is, right. it's a great venue. Um, and for more information on Louisville Slugger Field or our podcasts, you can visit us at go GoToLouisville.com, send us an email at podcast at GoToLouisville.com, or find us all over social media on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and Instagram. So as always, you're looking at Louisville. We'll see you next time. We have some entrees too. Let's talk about the beer. Okay. Let's talk about <laughs> I thought you were gonna go I thought you were gonna go into entrees. I don't even remember the entrees. <laughs>